as the US stock market starting a bear market right now, this chart pattern can give you some clues, but sometimes the pattern will fail. Then will this pattern fail as well? To receive my latest updates straight to your phone, scan this Telegram QR code below. This will ensure that you're notified immediately whenever I publish a new video, thoughts or update. And remember to also hit the subscribe button. Hello, my name is Beanie here. Today, I want to talk about the current pattern that's so obvious in the S&P 500. It is a head and shoulder pattern. But what is a head and shoulder pattern? There are actually two types of head and shoulder pattern. One is the bearish head and shoulder pattern. The other one is the inverted head and shoulder pattern. Right? When you have the head and shoulder pattern, it indicates a potential reversal in an uptrend. It is formed by three peaks, huh? one and a two here, right? With the middle peak, which is called the head, being the highest. And the two left and the right side will be called your left and the right shoulders. The neckline that connects the armpit, so here's the armpit, right, is a very important line because once there's a break of this neckline, it confirms the head and shoulder pattern. Inverted head and shoulder pattern is the reverse. Instead of having the three highs, it has three lows. Okay, the one that's lowest low is called the head and the two that's on the left and the right side will be called the left and the right shoulders. Same thing, there will be a neckline that draws the two armpit and if price is to close above the neckline, this will show that it is a bullish pattern. Now, the purpose of the head and shoulder is to identify reversal. That means traders use it to predict potential reversal. Now, what do I do when I see a head and shoulder pattern? I use it as a very, very important sign to tell me that the current trend might be reversing. However, it is important to note that chart patterns is not foolproof. It can fail. And I'm going to show you how to avoid the failed head and shoulder pattern 80% of the time. But for now, let's take a look into S&P 500 because this head and shoulder pattern is really obvious. This is a chart of S&P 500. If you switch it into a line chart, it's very obvious that this is a shoulder head and a right shoulder head and shoulder pattern. What is the head and shoulder pattern trying to reverse here? It's trying to reverse the recent upward trend, which is this trend. So this is the recent uptrend and we have a head and shoulder pattern here. Now remember that head and shoulder pattern means that the market found a resistance. We need to make sure there's a very strong resistance and scroll to the left. You should be able to find the reason why for example, price is pausing here because there was a very obvious high here and price hasn't been able to surpass that high. Hence, there was a bit of a consolidation to form this head and shoulder pattern. Now, the key thing is, of course, the neckline, as I mentioned just now. So I've drawn in this yellow line that shows the neckline. The question is that price seems to be breaking below this neckline as of the recent trading. But hey, you know, price is right now seemingly to be supported at this previous high here. So there's a bit of a confusion here because then whether there is a break of this upsloping, slightly upsloping uh, neckline or is it that price is being supported by this previous high that is acting as a resistance right now. So this is when a head and shoulder pattern is very easy to fail like what we've seen during uh, 2022, early 2022 here, right? So early 22, we had also a head and shoulder shoulder pattern is S&P 500 is only after multiple tries that it finally broke. And what happened is that if you were to draw in the neckline here, there was an attempt to break below this neckline and what happened? Price actually breaks up. And how do you avoid this kind of a failure? As I mentioned, what you need to do is to wait for price to break firmly below the neckline and below any visible strong support level, which is in this case here, this grey colour zone that I map in here. Now then, wait for price to retrace upwards towards that support level that is now into a resistance level okay it will turn into a resistance level once we see that there was a firm break below this per particular support that turns into a resistance level right then if this head and shoulder pattern has formed properly and successfully then what it says is that this uptrend is likely going to head down and there might be a temporary weakness here if you would like to gain exposure into the US equity index, 
on SGI is doing Singapore time zone and without conversing your money, your Sing dollar into US dollar, then one thing you can do is to explore into daily leverage certificates, which is DLC here. Now in Singapore, there are three issuers of DLC, namely SOTGEN, Mira assets and as well as UBS. I'm right now in SOTGEN website where you can just go to the front page and then under underlying choose any of the US index that you would like to trade. For example, I've just covered S&P 500 and if you'd like to go on let's say a short term movement on S&P 500, click on this and search for the uh, DLCs that's available. You have the daily long DLCs which means that if price should move up then if you buy a daily long DLC then you will be making a profit. Now let's say for example if you think that in the future it's going to be bearish then you will want to explore a daily short DLC because you will benefit if priced or the underlying is to become bearish. Now very important to note is that trading DLC is high risk you can lose a significant amount of your trading account. Now I have here which is S&P 500 DLCs and how do you choose the DLCs? You choose those which have a stars. Now this means that the one with a star is most sensitive. So the issuer will let you know the criteria of why they think that this is a star DLCs. Please check out the website here to understand more about the star DLCs. What I usually do when I trade the DLCs is I always always choose the one with the star and the one with a higher sensitivity. Now to know that we which one has a higher sensitivity, you want to look for those with a lesser number here. For example, uh, when it means like let's say 1.8 here, it means that it takes a movement of 1.8 in the underlying for one tick change in the DLCs. Do you think that this head and shoulder pattern will become true? And if yes, then we are expecting potentially a correction in the S&P 500 and probably the other US indexes. Now what I recommend is to watch the next video which will be shown here where I talk about this indicator that accurately predicts 100% since 2017 of market corrections. And I appreciate if you can leave your comments to let me know what other stocks or indexes you would like me to cover. And I see you in my next video. And don't forget to press the subscribe button and the like button.